hello welcome welcome to my channel so i hope you all are doing well so coming to the advertisement for msc in medical physics by nizer meshwar so this is a notification form from center for medical and nutrition physics department of nizer a newly formed department at nizer and this course has been started last year only and this is a program in medical and radiological physics so this is a master level program so eligibility for this program is like you should have first class in bachelor's degree in physical science or an equivalent degree with physics as a main subject and the candidates who are in the final examination are also eligible for this this program so the date of online application is 10th april which has already been started and the last date is 15th 15 may and it's just few days to left for applying and tentative date for announcement of the shortlist of candidates on the basis of their jam and just examination examination is uh, 31st may so at the last of this month you will get uh, information whether you are selected for the interview or not and the date of interview is from 1st july to 4th july so uh, this is about the the interview so people who are coming for the interview will be paid to and uh, to and from single sing, uh, single second class slipper class railway or bus fare by the short shortest route from their place of residence to the institute so they have to produce the ticket and they will provide the refund for the for a travel so more details about this msc course so this course is going to be held at center for medical and radiation physics nizer bhubaneswar and you know this uh, nizer is under dae the uh, department of atomic energy government of india and this is affiliated to the homi baba national institute so the degree for this msc course is being provided for any course held at nizer is being provided by hpni so more about this uh, medical physics so medical physics is a is the branch of science that mainly deals with the applications of ionizing radiation in healthcare through radiotherapy diagnostic radiology nuclear medicine and the associated radiological protection so especially for the first several decades ionizing radiation is being used worldwide for the treatment of cancer and diagnosis of the various disease the master program is the first of its kind in the state of odisha it is also the first of its kind at master level being conducted by an institution of the department of atomic energy government of india so talking about the scope of this course as the number of radiological and medical equipment is tripling so the number of medical physicists also increasing three times hence there is a demand for more medical physicists to be trained so skill developed by the students during this course are on the safe use of diagnostic and treatment radiation equipment the equipment that are, that are uh, being used in the hospitals for the treatment of cancer quality assurance of the radiation machines radiation treatment planning and radiation therapy treatment delivery in depth knowledge on the radiation machine structure and function understanding of principles and physical laws governing the biological effect of radiation solution of radiation therapy technology related problems train junior technicians in radiation therapy and training ochronologist on the relevant aspects of medical physics innovation in radiation therapy technology to enhance safety improvement of efficiency and cost effective assurance of service so who can apply this course as i said bsc bsc people with physics as one of the main subject having more than 60% and also should have cleared jam and jest with a valid score and mostly uh, the people having rank within 1000 will be called of uh, like having ranks 1000 within 1000 for jam in jam uh, in jam will be called and just uh, i guess like within 
they will be called for the for the interview so more about the program details so degree will be provided by hbni mumbai duration is two years number of seats is seats is 10 so less number of seat seats so minimum qualification uh, so i said uh, as i already mentioned fellowship so during the course you will be provided with a fellowship of 16000 plus hra and hra is mainly like uh, hostel so they mainly provide the hostel so there is no need of hra and internship hospital so if after completing this course completing this course you will be allotted some hospitals and the hospitals one hospital is all india institute of medical sciences bhubaneswar the second is acharya harihara post graduate institute of cancer and the third is tata memorial center mumbai this all this includes all the tmh in mumbai and other places in india so you, the institutions under this are department of atomic energy this homi bhava national institute and this atomic energy regulatory board aerb these are the umbrella institutions and the collaborating student institutes this aims acharya harihara postgraduate institute of cancer and this tmc so you have to remember the dates so date of activation of online application is 10th april last date is 15th may announcement of shortlist test applicants is 31st may and date of interviews first to 4 july and the final announce, announcement of final announcement of final selection list is 5th july so it's just very fast as compared to brc so they are going to be producing the result just on the next day so this is the details about this msc course so i hope you like uh, this information uh, and also you can watch out the video of like i have take i have taken uh, the interview of the msc people who are doing this course when when they came here at brc during the icmp program uh, icmp conference of so you can look at the video they have provided much information about the life and uh, the course structure and all other things you can look over so thanks for watching this video and i hope you got you got what, what you wanted to know so thanks and at last i please uh, i want to mention that please uh, please uh, subscribe 